Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a very special watch in for review. This is from CW Watch Shop. It is for sale. Not sure if it's on their website, but I will have a link in the description below to where you can reach out to them if you're interested in this timepiece. Um, this is a very cool watch. It's the Porsche Design Chronograph 1. Uh, first introduced in 1972. Um, Design developed by Ferdinand Porsche. So very cool. Um, a lot of history too. Um, Mario Andretti wore one of these. Um, in fact, one of them was stolen off of his wrist. Um, I guess one time in a, on a stroll at the beach, or he fell asleep on the beach and was stolen off his wrist. Um, they quickly sent him another one. Also, um, it was in the movie Top Gun, Tom Cruise wore it. So a lot of history. These are really gaining uh, popularity. Um, they used to be, you know, a thousand bucks, a couple thousand dollars. I know they're reaching up to the four and five thousand dollar range. So very cool. Um, what's great about this one, too, is this is running a Lemania movement, the 5100, which the original uh, movements were the 7750, Valju 7750. This one's the Lemania. A lot of ways they say the, Le the Lemania is a better movement you know, more shock resistant, just tougher. Um, and I've never really uh, had any experience with this movement. Um, but, you know, having spent a little time with it and its functions, I think it's very cool. I like it myself. Um, but this was also the first uh, watch to have a DLC coating. So, and it's held up. I mean, from this, this is from the 70s. I'm not sure what year this is, but um, it has held up very, very well if you if you look at the case. Um, and it is a sapphire sapphire crystal. And this movement, I believe, has been serviced too. So it's running really good. You have the day and the date. Um, no more loom. This is a tritium, tritium loom. And we'll test that anyway just to see if there's any loom left. But uh, let's get the dimensions out of the way. Um, or you know what? First, these were, I mean, Porsche is not um porsche is not a watchmaker so they reached out to a company called orfina which is actually owned by an italian race car driver um umberto mag let's see how do you pronounce that umberto umberto magliolius something like that I'm, I'm butchering it but anyway he finished his race car driving career with porsche so that's how this whole collaboration came about um but um very, very cool. There's a lot of history. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description to a, to a website, Revolution Watch, I believe, that I found that has all the information about this timepiece. Uh, so if you guys want to look you know, further into it, you know, educate yourself a little bit more, or maybe you already know about this watch, um, I'm still learning. But um, I like the watch. I think it's very cool. It's a good-looking piece. I like DLC-coated watches or P PVD coated watches. I really like um, they're, how they're blacked out. They just look real good. Uh, let me do a dimensions, because um, I don't even know what the dimensions are on this timepiece here. So let's do from side to side, coming in at 40, and then our tip to tip is 43.4, right around there. Thickness, it's gonna be a thick one, 15. Right at 15, the lugs, uh, about 24. But the inner part of the lugs where they actual mount to the case, 19.7, so about a 20. So I'm not sure, the way this bracelet's designed, I'm not sure if you could take this out and put a uh, like a leather strap or rubber strap, maybe you can. Um, but um, it's cool how this bracelet just folds like that. It goes straight down. So very comfortable. I I don't there's I don't think they have extra links. So this is gonna fit maybe a seven inch wrist, but I can't. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to close it. But that's how it is on the wrist. Um, God, I wish it had all the links. It really wear very nice on my wrist. I think that's a compared to what I've been wearing lately. You know, Panerai's and stuff. It's it's awfully feels small, but it's really not a forty mil. That's like my sub. So that's actually a very good size. So. That's how it looked on the wrist. You can, I looked online, you can buy extra links. You can actually find new bracelets for them. So if you guys are interested, you guys can, you know, always look for that. It has like, not screwing links, but like folded, kind of the old school folded links that you push in and out, or pins, I guess, is you push in and out to uh, change those out. There's your case back. So the reference number is a 71... Was it 7176? Let me see what that says. 
Yeah, 71, I believe 76. What does that say? Is 76 or 78? Yeah, 71, 76, chronograph, Porsche design. Swiss made. Very cool. So you have your kind of a rundown of the dial here. You have your running seconds there at the left, center dial, center subdial. You have 12 hour down here at the bottom. And then you have, let's get the chrono running. You have a 24 hour up here at the 12 o'clock, which the Valjus, the early models didn't have that. It wasn't a 24 hour because you know the Valjus 7750 doesn't have that, but the Lomania does. So I think that's very cool. It's different. And then your tachometer bezel, bezels on the inside there. Flat sapphire crystal. This one's in really good condition. I know a lot of these, the loom will start coming apart. It'll chunk out, you know. So I think that's cool. Very good condition. For its age. And hey, Tom Cruise, Maverick wore this, you know what I mean? So, very nice. Day and date, Porsche design. The early models said Orfina at the top here, but this model, you know, says Porsche design, which I, I really like how it just says Porsche design instead of Orfina. So, that's um, pretty cool. We'll stop that, zero it out. Just a good looking piece, guys. And something special. I've never had anything like this on the channel. I know that they're going to go up in value. I'm not sure where they're priced at with this. Uh, like I said, inquire with uh, CW Watch Shop. Shoot them an email. Um, I'll have all the links and everything in the description below. But I think it's very cool. It's something different. I think they're gonna. there's so much room uh, for growth. Uh, the prices are going up. I like how that date... I mean, a lot of companies don't do this, but if you look where, you know, Sunday the 1st, it's a black date will with silver font. That's really cool. I mean, it, it doesn't, a lot of companies will do like a white date will, which just, ew, it just doesn't it look right, you know? And Rolex does it, but they have that, uh, you know, Cyclops, so it looks a lot better. But I think this is just a very good looking chronograph. Great looking piece. So anyway, there you have it, guys. This is the Porsche Design Chronograph 1. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.